dancing style uh, in our community that is that song is called ritungu and that uh, the shaking of the head is our dancing style and we are so proud of it we love it i really miss it. so hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my good name is penina mosoba if you're new here Karibu sana, tunapenda wageni, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can watch my previous videos, like, comment, and share. Those who already subscribed, I'm so, so grateful. May God bless you so much. I don't take you for granted. I'm humbled anyway. So we are at uh, 210 subscribers, I guess, yes. Uh, the growth is so slow, but... We shall reach where we are going as long as we don't give up. Eh? Uh, you can see how good I'm looking. It's because I want to talk about my community. <laughs> I want to talk about myself. Yeah. So don't mistake me for a Maasai lady. I'm not a Maasai lady. I know we wear the same jewelries, but I am not a Maasai lady. I am a lady from the Korea community. And... Um, those who don't know Korea, Korea is a community. We are found in both in Tanzania and in Kenya. We are found at the borders of Tanzania and Kenya. So most of the people of the Korea community are in Tanzania, in places like Tarime and Musoma. And in Kenya, we are found in the southwest part of Kenya. That is me now. <laughs> I'm in Kenya. Uh, but I have so many relatives in Tanzania. My mother is from Tanzania. She was married to Kenya. She's a courier. Yeah. So we are located in Migori County. We currently don't have our county, but we hope to have it soon. Maybe because we are a minority, but ha, we're growing. We are Tunazana Kujaza Dunia. We will soon have our own county. The courier community has always been known for some other cultures that are uh, practiced so widely that people know like the FGM it's still being done but with a few people it's not uh, legalized in fact the government is also fighting it and some of us who are educated and really know that it doesn't add any value to our bodies we also fighting it like we don't want it you know and it will soon come to fed and uh, so there's one culture in my community that is still practiced and uh, so many people don't know about it yeah? and uh, people don't know about it because it's only practiced by a uh, few individuals like uh, it is practiced under some certain circumstances the Korea culture allows marriage between women. Now, before you misquote it for lesbianism, let me, ex let me explain and break it down. So, our community allows marriage between women but under some circumstances. Eh? So, one circumstance where our culture allows a woman to marry a woman is when a woman is barren. Maybe you got married, you went, and uh, so unfortunate, you were not able to give back to kids, so you're barren, you don't have kids. Our culture allows you to go out and marry a fellow woman and bring the woman to your home. And this woman who is brought to your home is expected to have kids. How they knew this particular woman is not barren and it's a must that she is going to have kids, I don't know. But you're allowed to marry a woman. Another circumstance where my culture allows a woman to marry a woman is when maybe a particular woman doesn't have a male descendant you are married you got kids but you didn't uh, unfortunately you didn't get a son eh? you only have daughters so in that circumstance my community allows you to go out and marry another woman and bring her to your home 
how again they get to know that this woman who is being married to this home is gonna have a male descendant i don't know but somehow it happens the woman comes and have kids and have sons and daughters so how it was done was that it was the responsibility of the barren woman or the woman who doesn't have a son to locate a fellow woman and marry i don't know whether you're getting me right i hope i'm explaining it right so after locating they do a local arrangement it's not something that is celebrated like the normal traditional marriages where we have to do our traditional celebrations it's just a local arrangement between your family and the other lady's family you agree this lady comes to your home mm -hmm. so once the lady comes to your home the lady already knows she doesn't have a husband right the lady is already aware i'm getting married to a woman and we always call them <coughs> Sorry, we always call them nyumba mboke in our local language. Nyumba mboke, those who are married to a woman, they don't have a husband, yeah, you get me? So, you come to this home. Once you're in this home, you are a daughter-in-law, you know? You are expected to look for a husband, to look for a man not to marry you but a man who is gonna give you kids a man who you're going to sire kids with i think this is not out of love is it really out of love i don't think so because the main reason here why you're looking for this particular man is because of the kids meaning you can just go for any man as long as you manage to get kids that particular man you get is not supposed to be known. He was hidden. This is where I see it's like, it's not something good. Because if you're doing something good, why should you hide? So, this man was not supposed to be known. If he's supposed to come to that family, he comes hiding. So that nobody can see him. So maybe he comes very late at night and leaves very early in the morning before people wake up crazy right some things we just do blindly like okay so uh, after the visits and whatever whatever you have kids again after having kids it is your responsibility you alone to take care of these kids that you have you can have as many kids as you want and uh with any man different men as you want but keep in mind you sorry you don't have any like uh you don't have any right you're not entitled to this man's support huh? the man who impregnated you it's not like uh, now it's lazima he has to take care of the kids no it's you and uh, that particular woman maybe who is barren or that particular woman who has no sons to ensure these kids are taken care of well well i know people have very i don't know whether there's another community that does that that has a culture of that kind but that is our culture now when it comes to this uh, woman who doesn't have uh, sons you know that can tell you how the Korea community really values the sons yeah okay we girls we also valued but not as much as the sons the sons are more valued reason being they are the ones who will inherit for the lineage of this family to continue it must have a son we don't inherit anything from our parents we get married and go to other families so parents are the ones who are remaining in that particular home and they have to inherit and 
make the lineage continue so this is a bit crazy but that's how it was done and people are still doing it even up to now but a few because right now people are educated people are uh, knowledgeable this barren woman knows if i'm not going to have kids i can adopt or i can just choose to remain the way i am it's not my fault it's okay that is for those who are educated and uh, have knowledge but those who are not they still do it okay though they still do it anyway so that is our culture guys and our traditions the things we do <laughs> but people don't really get to know them because zinafanya chini ya maji but that's how it happens uh am i against it am i for it i think i'm against it because how do you just go to a home that you get married there and you know you don't have a husband that definitely tells you that these kids you're bringing to the world are gonna be uh, going to be raised by a single parent and uh, it's not bad to be raised by a single parent but if you have an opportunity to raise your kids with the with both parents you don't have to go to choose the single parenthood eh? so i am totally against it totally 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 like totally against it just like i'm against fgm doesn't add any value anyway so i know different communities have different cultures if you have any culture of your community that we really don't know about and you'd like to share just leave a comment down below and also comment on ours is it a good idea is it a bad idea as for me mm -mm. i don't want it i don't want it i'm against it a hundred percent so comment down below let's get to know your cultures that you still practice your traditions that you still practice that we don't know about so thank you so much for watching thank you for liking my video thank you for sharing leave a comment down below let's have a discussion and uh, god bless you so much now penda sana